Well, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Uh, today on the table in front of us is a reasonably new steel wheel knife. This comes to me by way of the Apex Passaround group, hashtag Apex Passaround, and I'm very grateful for that. Thanks for this, guys. This is a really interesting steel wheel knife in that it is a front flipper. And as you can see, it comes in a very basic sort of steel wheel box. Right, let's take a look at what you get. <clears throat> now, the first thing you'll notice, it is a very interesting design. It is a front flipper, but also these, you know, these are the stops that land here, right? As you can see, uh, it's a liner lock, and we are at about 50% lockup. It has a very nice blue backspacer. Let's go ahead and try that front flip, shall we? Very nice. Smooth, easy. I like it. Uh, I wonder if you can use those as thumb studs. Almost. Yeah, you can. So a couple of forms of deployment, although front flip is the natural and easiest, although I bet you could yep, just roll that open pretty nicely too. The uh, blade shape is a little dirty, but very nice and very, very sharp. Comfortable handle, G10 scales over steel liners, plenty of milling inside there. Pocket clip is not deep carry, but you don't have a lot of knives sticking up. That's not too bad. And it does have a really nice lanyard hole if you lanyard. And again, I don't, but some people might. So that's the Wii. It's the Wii. <laughs> the Steel Will Scylla. S-C-Y-L-L-A. I'm going to see if I can clean that blade. Hang on just a second. Pardon me while I take the knife off camera here. Yeah, it's a little better. Uh, you know, I haven't had a steel wheel knife in quite a while on the table. And uh, this is very interesting. The G10 is milled out to sort of follow the form of the knife and also give you a fair amount of grip. It's a little tight for me. Uh, I fall off the end of the knife just a little bit. Uh, there's a nice flat spot up here that you probably could choke up on. Yeah, a little bit, but I would be hesitant because the edge of the blade. So that's more of a style thing and a sharpening choil than it is a forward usable choil. It is a sort of oddly tactical looking knife, really, from this position. Very stabby, right? Um, you get some nice belly. It does come down to a nice fine edge. I like this swedge across the top of the blade. That's very nice. A little bit of billboarding, right? It says steel wheel here, and then Scylla. Now this is D2, and uh, I have never had a problem with steel wheels D2. They do an excellent job. The action on this knife is very good. Front flip is very snappy. Let's take a look at it in comparison to some other knives, things we've got laying around on the table. Here it is against the uh, Flash AT from SOG. You can see the AT is a little bigger. Uh, the Scylla here is not a terrifically big knife, but you do get a lot of blade. We'll get to that in just a second. Here it is against the uh, bug out. You can see that the Scylla is just a little longer than the bug out. But again, you get a fair amount more blade, which is really nice. How much blade do you get? No one asked in particular, but I'm going to answer anyway. You get one two, three, one, two, three, and almost three and a half inches of cutting on, if you come to this spot, three and a half inches of D2 steel, which is a fair amount of blade. The handle length from just behind this little flipper, this little choil area right here, one, two, three, and a half. Wow. So the blade to handle ratio is just about dead on even. That is fairly cool. Let's measure out the whole knife. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three quarters. So just shy of eight inches, which given this space, this half inch gap right here, you get three and a half inches of blade, three and a half inches of handle. Not bad. The ergonomics, even though the handle is a little short for me, are pretty good. Um, nice spot to land your thumb. Uh, in the time that I've had it, I've done some, just some basic cutting. I had opened it once previously, and uh, it slices just fine. It goes through the, whatever medium you're trying to work with. I wouldn't call it a hard-use knife uh, by any stretch of the imagination, but as a daily carry, it is really very nice. Uh, it does have a steel clip, um, which is just sort of a spring clip. 
Um, as I mentioned, it's not deep carry. Uh, it is a little, you can see that right there. This ramp is a little short, although there's room back here for thicker jeans. If you're trying to get this right over thick pockets, you're going to end up doing the lift a little bit when you stick it down through into the pocket, which, you know, that happens sometimes with knives, but um, that's not my favorite thing in the world. But the action is very good. It rides the pocket reasonably well, which is nice. Let's go ahead and weigh it out so we know how heavy it is in the pocket. There we go. Four point four ounces. Not bad uh, for an almost eight inch knife. That's pretty good. Um, part of that is the amount of blade you get. So you get all that length of blade, right? But then there's a lot of blade material back here to allow for these stop pins and the front flip action. So even though the blade technically ends there for use, it comes all the way back here and that adds a little bit of weight and balance for the front, front flip action. Uh, but it also adds some weight. So there's that. I wonder how thick that D2 is. Let's find out together, shall we? It is fun to flip, I'll tell you what. <laughs> All right. You get 3.5 millimeters of Steel Wheels D2. The handle itself is 13.6 millimeters or just over a half inch. Not bad. Not bad for the pocket. Not bad for the hand. It's an interesting knife with unique design cues. Um, that's a good and bad. So it's good for me because I have so many knives in G10 and D2 that at this point I'm fairly sick of it. So something different like this stands out. Uh, however, for a daily user, for someone who's just looking for a, you know, pocket knife, this may, may not, <laughs> may or may not be what you're after. But if you are looking for an interesting design from a reliable company, uh, in a knife that is produced well and seems to work very well uh, with an interesting deployment method and some style to it, then perhaps the Steel Wheel Scylla is the knife for you. I've just noticed that this one's fairly off-center, but I did notice that there's a little bit of blade play as well. Um, I bet I could crank that pivot down an eighth of a turn and that would just disappear. Uh, I'm not going to mess with it since it is a uh, pass-around knife, but just know that in the time this has been in the hands of various pass-around group, it looks like the pivot has come a little loose. Not a big deal, but just something to be aware of. We're going to go ahead and close it up there. This is the Steel Well Scylla. It is D2, running on bearings, steel liners, G10 scales. It is a very nice knife. I hope that you have enjoyed taking a look at it with me. I know I've enjoyed having it around. If you have any questions about this knife or any of my knives, feel free to ask down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.